Hey everyone, my name is Tyler Treadway, and this is my video presentation on the ethics of hacktivism. I chose to do my video presentation on hacktivism because of uh, the political and social climate that we're in today. I feel that it's necessary for us to have hacktivist groups out there to hold people accountable. Um, I also am writing my second paper of the class on hacktivism. Um, I also really enjoy listening to podcasts and um, reading books about hackers or hacktivists that have taken on um, governments and other powerful people and from behind the keyboard. And, um, you know, I listen to a lot of Darknet Diaries podcasts and things like that. And uh, I really think that hacktivists are necessary for society and uh, to hold people accountable. So let's get right into this. So... This is an important subject because a lot of these uh, hacktivist groups tend to get a bad reputation. Uh, a lot of the reputation comes from news sources and the media. Um, these are just a few examples of a few news um, articles or from the internet and from other sort of media sources that have uh, put out articles about hacktivist groups or people who claim to be a part of hacktivist groups. Um, the first one here. Hacktivist attack shows ease of hacking into industrial control systems from Security Week. Um, men arrested in space satellite hacking called peace activists from the Los Angeles Times. And uh, Turkish hacktivists take over social media accounts of U.S. journalists from CS CNBC. Um, I think some, hack some hackers claim to be a part of a hacktivist group. And uh, they have caused major disruptions and hacked into vital government assets and caused damage and harm. But I think some of the true hacktivist groups really do use their voice to take on uh, political and social justice issues that we're facing in America today. And a lot of Americans may not be able to support these issues openly because of their, their job or um they're afraid that they may have some type of stigma attached to them. So um, I think that's why uh, hacktivist groups are important for society. These are just a few, a uh, couple hacktivist groups that um, we'll, we'll be talking about. Um, the main one we're going to focus on is um, Anonymous. Uh, Anonymous, I think many people see them as villains or black hack hackers. That want to cause damage but i truly think they believe in protecting users privacy online and exposing political and social justice issues through hacking uh, they're a really well organized group of people and i must mention that they do not claim to be in an organization but an idea that anyone can be a part of um, they were formed in 2003 and they have been in the news quite a bit with uh, some of the issues they have exposed uh, i think the Main ones you probably have heard of are uh, the Minneapolis Police Department after the George Floyd issue and uh, the Elon Musk um, uh, video they put out. Um, the two other groups on this slide are just a couple more examples of hacktivist groups. Uh, the Cyber Partisans, uh, they were formed in 2020 and they hacked Belarusian government agencies and other government agencies. And uh, Goatse Security or Goatsec is a gray hat hacking group that exposes security flaws. So, uh, like I said, we're going to mainly focus on Anonymous. And uh, here we go. So, this is just a short video about Anonymous and who they are. It's just going to give a little background about what they do and some of the issues they've taken on. So, I'm going to play this video for everyone. Greetings, citizens of the United States. This is a message from Anonymous to the Minneapolis Police Department. We do not trust your corrupt organization to carry out justice, so we will be exposing your many crimes to the world.
there's a lot of self-initiative. So whoever wants to kind of create a video in the name of Anonymous can do so. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. but it is definitely an underground set of uh, very smart people that know computer science, that know the way the internet works. More than 20,000 Twitter accounts belonging to ISIS were just taken down by Anonymous. This is only the beginning. ISIS, we will hunt you, take down your sites, accounts, emails, and expose you. From now on, no safe place for you online. forms of stability and coherence. On the other hand, they really can change depending on a new media event or depending on where they themselves want to take themselves in the future. So that video just shows some of the big political and social issues that Anonymous has addressed, not just here in the United States, but all around the world. Um, <clears throat> Although that video showed the good things that they did, there are some pros and cons to uh, anonymous groups like Anonymous and other hacktivist groups. And this slide kind of breaks down the pros and cons of each one. Uh, like I said, my standpoint is that the pros outweigh the cons. So um, basically, here they are. The, pro, the pros are they hold people accountable from greedy corporations to dictators in authoritarian countries. Uh, the con to that is they are committing crimes, and even though it's through the internet, it is still a crime. Um, they bring issues to light and expose corruption within the government through hacking and releasing sensitive information. But the con to that is releasing sensitive information can cause harm to our government and put our country at risk for disinformation attacks. Um, the system they use to protect their identities and keep them anonymous gives them a stronger presence and voice. Uh, the bad part of that is, is that there's a lack of oversight and no one with, no one within Anonymous can be held accountable because of their namelessness or facelessness. So if they do do something that is, uh, not ethical or 
criminal, then you can't really hold the person accountable for it. Um, but even though they're a rogue group of people, they sometimes get things wrong, but they strike a bit of fear in terrorist groups, corrupt governments, and corrupt leaders, um, and not to mention greedy corporations. Uh, we need a group of cyber crusaders like Anonymous to take on people that don't abide by the laws. Uh, there's only so much you can do and expose through the legal system and through abiding by laws and ethical issues. So to have groups like Anonymous who don't walk the line as far as ethical issues go and as far as um, the law goes, they're, they're able to hold people accountable more. Um, and they're able to basically keep people from and they're able to keep people, governments, and corporations from doing a disservice to their fellow citizens. Um, this is just a few things to think about, uh, a few questions that you can think about at the end of this presentation, but what are your thoughts and feelings on the societal impacts of hacktivist groups such as Anonymous? Um, do you think digital activism has a stronger effect than traditional forms of activism? And uh, what ethical issues do you see with hacktivism? And that's my presentation. So I hope everybody enjoyed it. Thank you.